at the first uh, video game art show that we've ever done. It was a night for the gamers. The special guests Mario, Luigi, and Sonic the Hedgehog. All of the art on the wall created by artists working in Victoria's surging video game industry. It's booming. It's um, There's 19 studios. I just heard about a studio today that a friend got a job at I didn't know existed. So this was created in Victoria? Yes, by Codename Entertainment. In the past 10 years, Victoria went from just one studio with a handful of employees to over 20 studios with roughly 250 workers. What changed was distribution, and so suddenly you could access markets really easily, and so instead of having to go through a large publisher, you could say, like, I have an idea, I want to make a game. You no longer needed a multi-million dollar budget to compete. Different gaming avenues like Facebook and smartphones rose in popularity, and thus, independent gaming studios emerged. In the big picture, Canada is a global leader in video game production. On a per capita basis, we have more people working in video games than any other nation on the planet. And the island is looking more and more attractive for Canada's large video game workforce. We're in a pretty unique geological location. Um, our weather is awesome. Uh, I think people love living here. Now the island video game industry is steadily growing. Companies are doing well. But in the grand scheme of things, we're still looking for that monster title that... <laughs> home run. And perhaps it's Super Mega Baseball, created by Victoria-based Metalhead Software. We're really, you know, the only game of our particular style on the market right now. There we go. Unlike the typical modern sports game, Super Mega Baseball steps away from the realistic, aiming for a fun, fictitious, cartoony baseball world. Kind of a throwback to the simpler sports games of the, of the 90s. They're sort of easier for a group of people to jump in and have uh, some really quick fun with the game. I took a seat and gave it a swing. There we go. As you can see, I got pretty into it. Go, 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 go. Yes. Stop running. You got to run through the base. <laughs> Co-founder Scott Drader and Christian Zuger started Metalhead Software in 2010 as a general software developer. Christian and myself who started the company weren't even in, into games originally. Fast forward to 2015 and the company now has five employees, released its first game, and has its own downtown office space, equipped of course with video games in the entrance. Pretty chill environment. But it's not all fun and games. Today I'm working on getting the dugouts to look right. The art of the game's stadium takes months of work, hours dedicated to the finest details. So what we're about to see is uh, some of the ads that we put up on the scoreboard, and they're, they're animated, so uh, they take a lot more effort to put in. We spent, uh, you know, I would say close to a month covering uh, all of the ads. And the critics have noticed. Since the game's release for PlayStation 3 and 4 in December 2014, the feedback has been overwhelming. It was a really nice critical reception. It was, it was a lot of fun just sitting back and watching people's reactions on, online. Now the team is working on its release for Xbox One and online game retailer Steam. For the small team of five, mass marketing is an uphill battle. Turns out creating a critically acclaimed baseball video game was the easy part. The bigger challenge is actually making sure that those people that you think are going to like it hear about it in the first place. It's a daunting task in a very competitive industry. But the office vibe says... You want some high and inside heat? Here you go. Yeah. They're not too worried. We've worked probably more than we've ever worked in our lives in the last couple of years, but uh, it's, it's not so hard to do when you really enjoy doing it. Oh, God. In Victoria, playing Super Mega Baseball with the Metalhead software team, I'm Kevin Chirac. Thank <laughs> you.